ब्रेक थ्रू इन रामेश्वरम कैफे केस एनआईए नैब्स बेंगलुरु बॉम्बर्स फ्रॉम बेंगाल बिग टीएमसी बीजेपी फाइट ब्रेक्स आउट बीजेपी सेज वाई हाइड इन दीदीज बेंगाल दीदी हिट्स बैक टीएमसी अरेस्टेड देम पॉलिटिकल फाइट ओवर नेशनल सिक्योरिटी टॉप फोकस ऑन इंडिया फर्स्ट बिग ब्रेक थ्रू इन बेंगलुरु कैफे ब्लास्ट केस बॉमर मुसाविर एंड मास्टर माइंड मथीन नैब फ्रॉम बेंगाल दे वर स्टेइंग एट अ कोलकाता होटल अंडर फॉल्स आइडेंटिटीज अक्यूज सेंट अ थ्री डे एनआईए ट्रांजिट रिमांड प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी मेक्स बिग अनाउंसमेंट ऑन कश्मीर सेज जेएनके स्टेटहुड विल बी रिस्टोर्ड सून declares assembly elections are not too far Modi's big Mughal and mutton attack on Rahul Gandhi and Lalu Prasad says opposition hurt sentiments of the majority by consuming meat during Savan India block hits out says prime minister diverting from real national issues Reports say Iran could attack Israel with drones and missiles in the next few hours India issues advisory cautions citizens from traveling to both Israel and Iran for now And for the first time in news television history, path-breaking ground reports and soaring election updates get set for Aaj Tak's helicopter shot. The sky is the limit for TV Today Network this election season. आप तो हमेशा से ही जानते हैं कि आज तक और दूसरों के बीच में जमीन और आसमान का फर्क है. The Rameshwaram Cafe in Bengaluru's White Field was struck by a bomb on the 1st of March. Everyone remember those pictures. Thankfully no one died, but a terror attack it definitely was. Now 42 days later, the person who planted that explosive device inside the Rameshwaram Cafe along with his accomplice, both suspected ISIS terrorists have been nabbed, not from Karnataka, but from far away West Bengal. take a look at how they were hunted down Bengaluru's Rameshwaram cafe shaken by an explosion The IED blast left 10 injured The main suspect captured on CCTV walking towards the cafe with a bag in full sleeve shirt a cap and eye glasses Seen in different clothes multiple appearances on surveillance cameras post the blast in a major breakthrough after about a month and a half the nia and the west bengal police have arrested the two key suspects in purva medinipur state police एंड सेंट्रल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एजेंसी का एक जॉइंट ऑपरेशन में इंफॉर्मेशन मिलने के दो घंटे के अंदर ही अंदर हम लोग जो बेंगलोर रामेश्वरम कैफे ब्लास्ट है उसके दो जो सस्पेक्ट थे उनको डिटेन कर पाए तेलेस्ट बॉम्बर मुजब्बिर हुसैन शाजिब एंड मास्टर माइंड अब्दुल मतीम ताहा कैप्चर्ड फ्रॉम दे हाइड आउट वेर दे हैव बिन लिविंग अंडर फॉर्स आइडेंटिटीज In a statement, the NIA acknowledged what it called energetic, coordinated action involving its sleuths and those from the state police of West Bengal, Telangana, and Kerala. The two suspects already wanted in a 2020 terrorism case, according to central agencies. Abdul Mateem Taha, who plotted the Bengaluru cafe bombing, was involved with the Bengaluru module of ISIS called Al Hind. According to investigators, the alleged bombers received constant instructions from their foreign handler. Both the bomber took different escape routes. The man who placed the bomb reached the West Bengal hideout via Andhra, while the mastermind took the Tamil Nadu route. Investigators hope to unravel a bigger terror module with these arrests. With Arvind Oja, Bureau Report, India Today.
It's a big achievement that the terrorists who could have been hiding anywhere across all these states have finally been arrested. 42 days is a long time, but it could have been longer. So both the NIA and the West Bengal police need to be commended. But politics immediately erupted after the arrest of both the accused in the Rameshwaram Cafe blast case. A huge showdown between the Trinamool Congress that rules Bengal and the BJP, the opposition party in Karnataka, over the detention of these two men from West Bengal. The BJP has immediately trained its guns on Mamta Banerjee, accuse her, accusing her of making Bengal a safe haven for terrorists. The Trinamool hit back saying that the men were found in a place where the constituency has a BJP MP and stated that offenders enjoy a safe place under the Mamata Sarkar, said the BJP. But Mamata has rained fire back once again on the BJP for accusing her of shielding terrorists, highlighting how the detentions were a joint operation between the police under her and the central agencies. দু ঘন্টায় বাংলায় লুকিয়েছিল দু ঘন্টার মধ্যে আমরা ধরে দিয়েছি আমাদের পুলিশ আর সেখানে বলছে বাংলা সেফ নয় তোর দিল্লি সেফ তোর উত্তর প্রদেশ সেফ তোর রাজস্থান সেফ তোর গুজরাট সেফ তোর বিহার সেফ বাংলার মানুষ শান্তিতে থাকে বিজেপি সহ্য হয় না অত্যাচারী দল দ্যাভেন্ডিং the accused who allegedly have perpetrated the Rameshwaram cafe blast. I hope that in the coming days, both the state police as well as NIA will take all measures to prevent Bengaluru from becoming a haven for terrorists. This is also a slap on the face of those Congress ministers who were trying to give new theories. Has politics begun to erode and compromise terror investigations and due process? That's the question we're asking tonight on India First. Joining us live, Dr. Vikram Singh, security expert, former Director General Police of Uttar Pradesh, S. Prakash, spokesperson of the Karnataka BJP, and Syed Asad Abbas is a political analyst. He doesn't represent any party, but in this case, he questions the BJP. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much for being with me. Uh, Dr. Singh, I want to come to you first. Uh, before I go to the, the, the analysts and the politicians, because, uh, you know, 42 days after a very disturbing attack in one of India's largest cities, the two men who, you know, uh, accused of bombing the Rameshwaram Cafe have finally been tracked down to Bengal. This is a big achievement, sir. Politics, etc. aside, this is a big achievement because we know that terrorists have a habit of being able to remain evasive and they could have hidden anywhere. Good evening, Shiv and esteemed panelists. You are very right, absolutely. It is a success for which I would compliment NIA and also the West Bengal Police. Yes. For once, West Bengal Police is being known not for the wrong kind of reasons, but for the right kind of reasons. And it has been acknowledged by the NIA that their apprehension of Musabir Hussein Shajid and Abdul Mateen Taha has been because of the cooperation with the West Bengal Police and the NIA. Yes. But there's certain things and a certain thing that have to be noted also that there are several cases, I'll first speak about Karnataka, that these two were involved in the pressure cooker bombing in Mangalore that happened in 2022. And if they were at large, I think there are better surveillance and better mechanism of controlling them, actual surveillance, put surveillance, and electronic surveillance should have been on ground. Mm. Obviously, this did not happen, and they were able to perpetrate the Rameshwaram cafe blast. Now, coming to West Bengal, there was a question somebody asked, why West Bengal? And I ask a counter question, why not Uttar Pradesh? You can well understand what would have been the consequences. Of course, no police arrangements is infallible or foolproof. Yeah. But yes, there is a perception that unless they had suicidal tendencies, they wouldn't have gone to UP. Having gone to Bengal under false identities, I had expected a lot from more from a professional police force like West Bengal. They should have been able to identify hmm. the fake from the genuine, and they should have been able to nail them. I have worked with the West Bengal police. They are second to none as far as professionalism is concerned. But the ecosystem in which 
their professionalism has to come on the ground. Perhaps that is not there. And that is where this happened, that they were able to get into West Bengal and were under hiding and were under hibernation for better circumstances to come so that they could go to uh, perhaps Bangladesh or elsewhere. Very, very important point that you're making. And I, I, the, uh, the BJP's S. Prakash is uh, probably going to agree with what you're saying, which is that there is an ecosystem that makes the situation... Uh, you know, pr probably conducive no, it's for, not for, for terrorists to actually hide in West Bengal. Now, remember, the BJP has said uh, that Mamata Banerjee has provided through policies of appeasement a safe haven for terrorists. Now, it's a grave charge to make, Mr. Prakash, because you cannot accuse a chief minister of abetting or protecting terror. But you're saying her politics has made those places safe for terrorists. Sir, it's not audible. Can you hear me, Mr. Prakash? I'll no, come no. back. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to you in just a moment. Uh, uh, okay, Syed Asad Abbas, I'll come to you, Sir Syed. The the, the 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 BJP has pointed a finger directly at Mamta Banerjee and said, "Why are they hiding in West Bengal?" You've heard from Dr. Vikram Singh. He says that the West Bengal police is second to none. They have done this in a joint operation with the NIA, so they both must be commended. But something needs to be said about the politics. Why did these guys, who happen to be from Shivamoga, go and hide in Bengal? Well, that certainly question will be asked by the NIA. Firstly, Shiv, I've agreed with you on many fronts and this front too. I think hearty congratulations and kudos to the National Investigation Agency. I think that's a fantastic job done by them. And the Bengal this, police. Yes, absolutely. The West Bengal police. Okay. To me, as an Indian today, I beam with pride that we have agencies like this from next to nothing, they've made this uh, impossible task happen. Now coming to question the Bharatiya Janta Party, it's absolutely unfair, Shiv. In matter of two hours, the West Bengal police was able to arrest these terror accused, which is something which is done absolutely immaculate instead of saying the right words to the NIA and the West Bengal police the Bharatiya Janata Party gets into this appeasement or so on and so forms. It's unrequired. Absolutely not. Hmm. The same West Bengal police, like Vikram Singh Saab said, is indeed second to none. It only comes second to the Maharashtra police or the Mumbai police. Instead of coming together, fighting terrorists, sacrosanct on one united stand, BJP wants to do this petty politics, which is no good. Let us not blame the police. You might blame Mamta government for other things, but the police is there to his duty bound to keep the law in order. Mr. Prakash, you want to respond to, to that? You're being accused of playing, no, Mr. Abbas you're playing, is you're playing politics at a time when the NIA has also acknowledged the West Bengal police's role. Why, so why the immediate need to point a finger at Mamta Banerjee is the question. Well, the situation in West Bengal warrants that. And we are the last party to do any politics over, uh, over terrorism. It is the Congress party and other many other opposition parties. They jump to the support of these terror, terror accused persons. They bring religion into it. It is not the Bharati Janta party which indulges in such a irresponsible act. And we are very sorry why the Abbas is upset over the statement by the Bharati Janta Party that Mamta West Bengal is safe heaven for the terrorists. Mr. Vikram Singh also said the ecosystem there exists there in West Bengal encourages people to go and take shelter there, not in UP. That itself signifies how fragile is the system there. Mr. Abbas should not look at that. You should look at the statements made by the Congress Sa leaders in Sa Sa Sayed, you know, if you take if you take the comments on face value, what Dr. Vikram Vikram Singh is also, even if you want to disregard what the BJP is saying, uh, Dr. Vikram Singh says that, you know, the, uh, the, the politics of appeasement may have played a role in these terrorists deciding to go to Bengal and not to, for instance, Uttar Pradesh. That cannot well, be sir, completely that, ruled out. Well, Shiv, I do not think so. With all due respect to Vikram Singh Saab, I've had the great honor of being part of many of the debates and discussion with him. I uh, respectfully dissent with what he's saying and I disagree. Why so? I think that these terrorists, their only game plan is to do their bit and move out from there. Why would a Mamta Banerjee or the West Bengal police in any way provide a safe haven to these people? No, it not, could be not, actively, not, not actively, not actively providing a safe haven. The implication here is that appeasement in general of, uh, you know, of Muslims for political reasons, for nothing else, for political reasons, means that 
the, 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 the state agencies that. may go soft that. on Muslims is the is, is the implication that. here. I'll answer that. Even even if you see the Karnataka Congress or the West Bengal Trinamool Congress, both of them, whatever the policies and schemes that got in, they've got for all of them, all the people living there, hmm. be it Christians or Muslims or Hindus or anybody, How it should be, be Karnataka or in Bengal. It's absolutely unfair that only Muslims are being provided with this, Hindus are not being provided, only then. The fact of the matter is the only fact that these terrorists want to do terror beat up beat bengal so i don't think it has anything to do with the uh, the respective governments it is their mind that they might have that it could be a safe haven but i absolutely do not think so okay that west bengal is in any way a safe haven for terrorists as prakash how do you justify it because you're making a grave charge against a chief minister uh, you know the, the the politics and the elections and the india block versus bjp maybe you know may have its own place before you know the 2024 poll battle but you know is that leading to some very loose comments being made including by the bjp no countless times in west bengal mamta banerjee has defended many act of uh, violence and many, many such acts but terror have been is different defended by her but terror it's is very different. very un terror is different even yesterday when she was speaking to a Muslim community, she was instigating them against the CIA and other by giving misinformation. See, basically in West Bengal, which is borders of West Bangladesh, there is a threat of terrorism and infiltration by, by from Bangladesh. But Mr. Mr. Ms. Mamta Banerjee is blind to that. She okay. always defends even those infiltrators. Okay. Yeah. Because of that, BJP takes strong objection to it. I don't know why Sayyid Dabba should object or have objection to it. He should see it uh, terror as a criminal act. I, it, see, it I, is an, I, against I, humanity. I, now, why should it defend the Mamta Banerjee? I think I have a, you know, the incident you, happened because of the irresponsibility of the state government. I'll, I'll tell you, gentlemen, government. before I bring Dr. Singh in, because I have limited time, I, 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 I'll tell you why I think that there is a great silver lining in today's story. Even though our spotlight is on, you know, the political finger pointing that seems to consume, uh, you know, uh, the headlines over terror of almost every time it happens in this country. What Dr. Singh mentioned is actually the saving grace. The NIA and the West Bengal police, you know, which if you actually look at it in, in the current day and age, the agencies and the state agencies are at loggerheads with each other because their political masters are at loggerheads with each other. But despite that atmosphere, they have worked very professionally together and nabbed these two arrested persons. Which brings me to my last question, Dr. Singh. Does this political noise, does this political tutu meme, this acrimony and hostility between parties and governments, does it affect due process on the ground, sir? It must be affecting due process. Very much. I'm in total agreement with the mature observations made by Mr. Abbas that terrorism is too serious a matter to be diluted by political manipulations and political allegations and counter allegations. All Absolutely. Indians must stand together as a resolute nation and give a befitting reply to anti-national activities. But to your question, yes, it does impact the morale of the police. It does impact the efficacy of the police and gives a conflicting signal. Is the political leadership interested or serious about nailing them down or giving them a befitting reply? Or the intention is to look elsewhere, look the other way. And that is where the confusion is. Uh, Mr. Also, Pran these terrorists must be dealt with iron hands, Shiv sir. The only way to deal with these terrorists is iron hands. And okay. yes, Congress, Amagni Party of the Trinamool Congress, all of them need to come together, sacrosanct in one stand when it comes to matters of national security, of they dealing terrorists with no. iron hands. No politics over this, sir. No politics over this. Absolutely no politics. zero politics. And give the autonomy to the state police and the NIA so that there is no intervention of politics of sorts. Let a Mamta Banerjee, Modi, Rahul Gandhi come together on this come and together. we Indians together must fight with terrorism I irrespective think, yeah, and keep the politics aside. This is a good note to end on because I didn't want this to descend into a tutu meme of any kind. Uh, the Trinamool, uh, you know, uh, does not sit on debates with me for some reason. Uh, and uh, that's a different story. They're scared altogether. of you, Shiv. <laughs> that, that, no, that's a different story altogether, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep that for another day. At the moment, I'd like to thank Dr. Vikram Singh, Mr. S. Prakash and Syed, my friend. Thank you very much for being with me today on the debate. Uh, the, the story of what happened at the Rameshwaram Cafe is far from over and we will continue to track it very, very closely. Thanks very much for watching India First. The news as always continues right here on India. Keep watching.